Hello guys and welcome back to KDT Fishing. Welcome to a brand new episode of Sea Fishing Adventures and welcome to the first attempt ever for me on Chesil Beach. The weather today is very, very mild. It could have been a lot colder uh, just to give me a bit of hope before I get to my destination. And there is how far I am from my destination. Two hours and 52 minutes to go which is 143 miles from where I live down in Cornwall. Anyway, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, if you're watching this on your TV, which is sometimes what I do as well, uh, on your Fire Stick or on your smart TV, then please feel free to log on on your phone or your computer and subscribe, because I don't think you can from a TV. I appreciate the support if you do do that, and it helps a massive amount. Anyway, let's get this journey started, and let's get some cod or some different species in the bag. Let's go. Well, we finally made it. We are at Chesil Tackle and Bait, and I have got half a pound of rag saved. I'm gonna get some squid and some sand eel as well, and then when I get onto the beach, I'll show you the rest of the baits that I've got. There you go. Screen's gonna go in a, the screen is going a bit funny, but there you go. It is, the time is 11.42. I did stop, um, so we, we're a bit later than we should have been, but, Either way, it's all good. Low tide is 12 o'clock, meaning I'm going to be fishing it from low all the way up, and I cannot wait. So let me just get in this tackle shop, get the bait, and let's get on and get fishing. Stay tuned. <clears throat> you have arrived at your destination. I'm just going to wrecky it first before getting the gear out. I'll turn the camera around now, show you a few things. I'm, uh, in four sheets here. I'm at Abbotsbury, which is here. And uh, a good friend of mine, shout out to Sam. Cheers, mate, as always, has given me a bit of advice for fishing here. Advice is always welcome, no matter how long you've been fishing. You can always learn something. There you go, I'll give you a view of the surroundings. It is one steep beach. Really doesn't do it justice when you're uh, watching videos. Okay, I think I've seen enough. I'm gonna fish somewhere in the middle here, to the left. Right, I'm down here. You'll have to forgive the excitement. I feel like a little kid waking up at five o'clock in the morning to go fishing again. Um, incredible. But yeah, this, this is the beach. It is so steep, honestly. Getting set up. Got the pole for my um, live stream. I'm gonna attach my phone to that and then I've got the tripod for my GoPro. Uh, using the new Sonic SKS Blacks. Brilliant rods. My new pen rival and a Shakespeare surf. Right, let me get set up. Let's get in and then I'll show you the bait and show you the tactics. Just testing the height on the setup. Got my uh, tripod for the for the live stream. Right, I've got the two rods set up. The right rod, which is the one with the normal line, is my lighter rod got a freeway swivel on and six ounce lead 
beads and a circle hook and I'm just going to play around with small baits for that may change the hook up and the, uh, the rig length but we'll see how we get on uh, that's going to be my fish finder if you will just going to go far out, close in, right, left and just going to play around with that rod and then the other rod the one with the braid that is going to be a big bait only it's a pulley panel rig and I'll show you what baits are going to be on that now so just tied it up getting my gear together but I have got fresh squid in that one fresh oh no fresh squid squid fresh squid in that one and fresh blacks and half a pound of rag in that one and then this is just some old bait mackerel uh, little bits of stuff and then my winter baits if you didn't see me making these check it out on the channel one of the one of the things i like to do when i'm getting ready for the winter is you use any old baits any stuff you've got in the freezer and get them all mixed up together so some of these are razor clams black lug and squid some are just black lug and squid so that is what's going on that rod first then full squid and then I have got some some old liver here that I might even try as well right showing you everything now Go on. I'm going to, because it's low water, I'm just going to go short with this one for the first cast. Not far out at all, it's just a small chuck. Let's see how we get on. I can't believe how mild it is today, it's like 11 degrees. Well, I've been here an hour now. I've had a few casts on the right rod, uh, just I've left the, the left rod with the big bait on. Just in case something passes it, the, the right rod's not been touched, so surely the left rod hasn't either. But I will check it in a minute, just thought I'd give you guys an update. Got at least another five hours here anyway. The live stream went well as well, thank you for those that tuned in. Hopefully we catch a fish on the next live. quickly there's a winter bait I go in once with the hook pull the hook out 
go in once with the hook, pull the hook out, go in again, curl it round like a worm, down to the end, pull the hook in again, and there you go, pull the line tight, and then you get your sliding hook at the back. Pull your rig tight, wrap that around a few times, and then do the same with the bait like a worm. And there you go, that is a well presented cocktail bait ready for a cod. On a pulley panel system, so your lead is sliding up and down. Well, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is, people are leaving. Which means my bait has got less to compete with. The bad news is, I haven't had any fish yet. But I have all night. Come on. Not sure this counts as a blank saver. But I caught a little hermit crab. How cool is that? Little claws there on the end. It um had all of my squid. It's nearly ten to four. <clears throat> Last hour of light. An hour and a half from high tide. Surely this is the time now. This is the time for dream fish. No heartbreak, Chesil Beach, no heartbreak. Not today, please. I keep telling myself though, if we, um, if we don't catch any fish, if we don't catch any fish this session, I'm not too bothered. Because th this is, this is an awesome beach. I'm gonna do comparisons though to Bristol Channel. Over the next few months, I want to go to Bristol Channel or here, as well as my new spot. But come on, fish with the darkness. Let's see what Chesil is really about. We've got the first bite. We've got the first fish. No, fresh bait on, and it come off. First proper bite, rattling away. I felt the weight of it when I when I first uh, started to reel in, but great signs. Let's go! Oh, there we go. That that's fish on. Fish on boys, fish on, finally, <laughs> I haven't blanked on Chesil Beach, there you go, whiting, it's not what I came for but I'll take it, I haven't blanked on Chesil Beach, it's gotta be this one, Yes, fish on. Sorry guys, I'm prioritising the uh, 
good old YouTube. It's a much better whiting. There you go. Far better than the first one. Still not the target species, but we keep on going. Yes. Another one bites the dust. A lot smaller than the other one. All right, guys. Coming into the last half an hour or so now of the session. Pulled three whiting out of the bag in the end, one keeper. Still time for a couple more fish. But if I don't catch anything else to show you now, I'll see you to say goodbye very soon. Well, almost ready to go, and fish on again, fish on again, another whiting, caught on the top up this time, not as big as the, the one I'm keeping, but it's a full fish nonetheless. And it's not been complete heartbreak at Chesil. It's not, it's not been a dream maker, but it's definitely not been a heartbreaker. Right guys, now back in the car after my first trip to Chesil. And um, I'm not gonna complain. I had five whiting in the end, two keepers. And uh, some guys walked over to me when they finished their session and they had, they had just white in pouting and dogfish. Uh, so I was right in thinking that there was pouting biting at the beginning. <laughs> but yeah, five whiting. I, I can't complain. I haven't had a dream be made, um, but I, I'm certainly not feeling heartbroken. And uh, my, my take on Chesil is, it makes you feel like when you were younger, you were trying a new destination, whether it was a lake, a river, uh, a different like pier or a different place to see fish. You was excited and, and I, I got that feeling back. You know, it felt good. I'm gonna try Bristol Channel next, um, unless I go local to myself. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes there as well. And I'll, I'm sure I'll be as excited to try that as a new spot. Uh, but Chesil, super comfortable. I know it's not all about that, but you, set, you stay in the same spot, whether it's low water or high water. Um, it's easy fishing, and you've got the chance of an absolute monster, uh, whether that be a cod, conger, or any other species. So, absolutely brilliant. I'll definitely come here again. I'll probably stay at the local campsite next time and stay over and do two days, two nights, or three nights, something like that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm glad I came. I've had a good day. It was very quiet for the first half till the, till the, the skies started to go dark. Uh, and then it switched on, like we all usually think it will. Uh, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed my first time at Chesil. It wasn't an absolute red letter day, but I'll take it. And um, I hope to see you all again soon. I'll do more of the live streams. Uh, for, de for definite if you guys are interested in that don't forget leave a like subscribe and switch on the notification bell cheers guys